hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a pantry organization video as you can see our pantry was horrible um, there was a lot of expired food and everything was just chaotic and not where it was supposed to be so I bought some bins and I organized everything so this is your thing y'all stay tuned Okay, so to start, I just emptied everything out. There was stuff under here, because it's kind of a shared space. Brandon has a table over in the corner, because he does like RC cars and stuff, and that's where he does all his work with those. And so, we used to have a garage, and now we don't anymore, so everything kind of just got condensed into this one area. And so, just starting out, I'm going to empty everything out, and don't worry, I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. I speed it up and just put clips in. So, it will not bore you to death. This is exactly what I look like in Walmart whenever I go in for one or two things and refuse to get a buggy. Okay, and there was just a lot of grass and just dirt and stuff under there from people walking through so I went ahead and swept that up and then I'm going to spray the floor and wipe it with a cloth just because it was faster than getting the mop out. And so, of course, I piled everything into my kitchen, and I'm just going to go through and look at all the food and look at the dates on it to make sure that everything's okay, because I coupon a lot of times, and so I'll buy a bunch of something if it's on sale with full intentions on it, cooking it and using it, and then I either forget what I have or I buy more, I don't know, but stuff always goes bad, and I'm trying to do a lot better with this, so... I've, act, I've started meal planning. I used to not meal plan. I would just go buy what was on sale and then whenever it was time to cook, I would just make do with what I had. But now I've started meal planning and I've cut way back on couponing just because we don't have the storage in this house. But once we get our house and situated and everything, I fully intend to coupon again because you save so much money. So I think some of these like cake mixes and stuff, I think they went bad in 2016. And so we've been carrying them around for like two and a half years for no reason at all. Which means that they moved with us two times. Like, that's kind of embarrassing. And I went back to Dollar Tree, me and my mom had went and we bought those red and orange bins, but it was during the fall, and of course, I thought they were cute then because it was fall, but I just wanted something a little bit more streamlined, and so I found these white bins, and I like those a lot more, and I had full intentions on staining the shelves a dark color, and then having the white bins but I think we might be moving soon, so I held off on that for now. And so I'm just organizing the food, and I need to go back and get one more because 
I was one short and I had to use that tub of wear band. But I need, I need to go back and get that. But I'm just stuffing the bins with like categories. Like these are all crackers. And then the two back there are snack items. So I'm just trying to figure out what all we have and what to put where. And these two glass jars were actually given to me, and I never knew what to put in them, but then whenever I was doing this, I was like, oh, I can put the chocolate chips and the marshmallows in there. So that's what I'm doing with those. But everybody says that they find those at Dollar Tree, and I looked all over that store and did not find anything. So I think I want to get some for, like, the cereal and stuff, and so I think I may go to either Bed Bath & Beyond or... TJ Maxx or someplace like that to see if they have any. And so it was storming really bad this day too, and so the lights were going on and off, and the power, like the power, kept going off, and my camera was plugged in, so it kept going off. And so I did miss like the whole part where I was bringing everything back in, but you can kind of see how it's arranged, um, like drinks and paper goods and stuff, and then chips there on the end or on the bottom. And then the next shelf up, there's cereal and breakfast items. And then it's like breads and pastas and stuff like that. And then all of our cans, no pastas, I'm sorry, is up a shelf. But the next shelf is cans and pastas. And then down more is like baking mixes and baking ingredients and supplies and stuff. And then on the top shelf, I put all of the like sweet snacks and I separated the sweet snacks and the salty snacks just because we had so many of them but I wanted those up higher because Clover likes to get into them and then I just had these little chalkboard stickers so I made my labels for my bins in hopes that everybody would be able to keep things organized if everything was labeled as to what it was but as it turns out that didn't work out because I went in there today and there was stuff in different bins so I think it's just something I'm going to have to stay on top of to make sure it stays organized. But I think I got these stickers at Dollar Tree. I think I actually did luck out and find those. But this is how it turned out. Like all this, I'm not really happy with the bottom shelf, but it'll do for now. So if you guys liked it and you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, click the subscribe button down there. Um, I do a lot of cleaning motivation and stuff like that. I would love to have you on my channel. And feel free to click on this link to the next video if you all want to watch it too. Y'all have a good day. Bye.